home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the World Series between the Miami Marlins and the Houston Astros. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Fleezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. Well, when you start the series on the road, obviously you'd love to sweep the first two games, but coming out of there with a split is pretty solid, too. Now they come home, they've taken back home field advantage, and we'll see if they can feed off this crowd and take control of the series. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series Baseball on MLB Network, and we'll have it all for you next. is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2019 Houston Astros. now we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three. And here's how the visiting Miami Marlins will line up in this one. Who are you focused on Dan please Zach? Well Matt I'm going to be paying close attention to Starling Marte. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Francis Marte gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's last three starts haven't been that bad, but he's picked up a no decision in all three. I'm sure he'd like to pick up the W in this one here today. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. And let's take a look at Carlos Correa. I had an old friend say to me one time, this is what they look like. And this is exactly what it looks like. The ability to play gold glove defense and hit in the middle of the order. I smell a potential Hall of Fame career. Leading off tonight for Miami, center fielder, Darling Marte. First offering on its way. And we are underway from Houston as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Hit on the ground out to short. Correa is there. And a good throw gets him one gun. Here's the first offering. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. One out, nobody on. Taylor behind, 0-2 oh the count. Oh 
And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around at strike three. Got him third. Right fielder, Ron Raven. Pitch coming, here it is. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Great off speed pitch right there. He was definitely sitting fastball, wanted to turn and burn. Everything went flying. This pitcher might be on the attack with that pitch all game long. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And this will kick off the wall out near the 315 sign. Boy, that line drive was a blur off the bat, which means it's definitely worth looking at on show track. And how about this for an exit velocity? 116 miles an hour. That's right up there with the fastest we've seen. In now, Garrett Cooper. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Come on now. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Reyes leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Guide into straightaway right. Moving under it, Tucker. And that's the third out. Marlins leave one. And now the Astros will go to work for the first time. No score. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Nero? Matty, I love the way this lineup's constructed. Talking to the manager before the game, he focused on the fact that they have a pass the baton mentality. Everything's flowing for this lineup. Chance to score a lot of runs. Mike Sosa will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, he was awfully good in his last one, only allowing two hits and pitching deep into the game in his last start to pick up the win. It'll be interesting to see if he can do that in back-to-back -back outings. Check out the Miami Marlins on defense. And let's take a look at Starling Marte, another one of those super athletic outfielders of the new regime. Ability to cover ground, can play multiple positions in the outfield and hit in the middle of the order. Leading off for the Astros. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. First delivery to him on the way. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now the 2-0 home. This is lined to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And now the Marlins will have his terrific speed to contend with at first right out of the chute. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy has had a monster postseason so far. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one.
Here comes the 0-1. There goes Altuve. He swings and misses. Throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. Still no balls and two strikes. No one out with a runner at second. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a ground ball to third. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. And that's an ideal start to the inning right here. The leadoff man strokes a double, and the next guy comes up and swaps places with him. Chasing his partner home. Could be a big inning. At the plate, Carlos Correa. And Houston looking for more here in just the opening frame of the game. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Skied into very shallow right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. He's looking to make this a 2-0 game if he can perhaps get a ball airborne here. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Fastball right over the inside corner. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is felt. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that will plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. Dan, that had to be missed execution right there. Two strikes on the batter, throw a breaking ball, but you leave it up a little bit for him to be able to drive it to the out. No doubt about it, Dero. Two strike breaking ball intended to be at the ankles or below, but even bouncing to get him to chase and swing. Too good of a pitch with a breaking ball with two strikes to this hitter. Here's Michael Brantley, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Here comes the 0-1. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in there, base hit. Now a long throw to third, and he is in there. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Here's George Springer. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Marte is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-0 ball game. One of the things you want to do as an offense, right, is stay fundamental and keep pushing. A great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Tucker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And it's gone. Two run shot to straight away center. His first homer so far in the series. And the Astros will open up a 5 0 lead. Everybody loves to get on a good piece of cheese. Hit a fastball out of the yard. But I'll tell you what, be able to stay back and take a curveball deep. 
one of those special feelings when you can recognize and react, keep your hand back, and drive it out. And here's Renato Nunez. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Low in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. On to the second inning now for Minute Maid Park. Astros lead this one five to nothing. Here's Chris Davis now, and his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down five zip here in the early going. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Oh, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. A solo shot here to left his first homer here in the series as they get on the scoreboard here it's five to one yeah they have everything to lose in this game but it's obvious they have zero quit in them they're going to battle until the last out and with that homer they're that much closer to prolonging the series. Standing in now, Julian Gonzalez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez. Makes a lot of great contact against left-handed pitching, perhaps one of the best in the game in that regard, but he does have his warts against right-handers at times. Just not as proficient at putting the ball in play when it's coming from that side. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box, Christian Othemus. As he rips it on the ground to second. Throw gets him, two down. Coming in, third baseman, Luis Arias. Now with the plate, Luis Arias, he'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. And he'll take a look at ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the 1 0. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Brantley. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Marlins get one back thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros five and the Marlins one. Stepping into the box, Cam Gallagher. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. 
And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. At second baseman, number 27, Jose Altuve. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Altuve. He singled his last time up. Now here it comes. Hey! Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. The 2-2. Two -two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. He's looking a lot sharper to settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. In now, Tony Kemp. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Wind up and the 0 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. I know there's two outs right here, but your job is the number two hole hitter, especially with the monsters hitting behind you. Find a way to get on base. Maybe a little two out lightning on the horizon. Swing and a little tapper. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Marte is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're up five to one. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Starling Marte steps in to start out the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch takes this the other way to right and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard boy there's another base hit and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving D roll both teams piling up the hits and we're just in the third inning yeah their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers meeting today good plan at the plate a lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides standing in now Chris Taylor as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one First time up, he went down looking. Hit on the ground toward the left. Altuve for one. On to first, and they get them both. Up next for the Marlins, right fielder, Ron. Reyes. Ready now for the Marlins. Franz Reyes. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Hit hard up the middle. 
And that finds its way through for a base hit. So with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one more batter. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that 0-0 pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. Stepping in now, Garrett Cooper. And he puts it on the ground to second. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. One left for Miami. They're down here five to one. Here's Carlos Correa now. 0 for one for him here in this one. Carlos Correa. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Correa sometimes called show Rea. He was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah Matt you cannot miss on your first rounder and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. Hey, I know how frustrated he is right now. They say the pitcher gets a strike, the hitter gets a strike, and the umpire gets a strike. That's exactly what's happening right now. He's got to regroup. He's got one more. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. One out, nobody on. The two balls and two strikes now. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It is laid off and the count runs full. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. He throws him on the fastball there. Alex Bregman becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Ready for another chance? Michael Brantley will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. In there, and it's 0-1. Um, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Davis. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He needed a sand wedge for that one, swung on and missed. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves if they don't start putting balls in gaps. This guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Davis 
sometimes called Crush with a K and an H. He was selected in the seventh round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. The next 0 2. This is line to left. Brantley is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Into the box, Julian Gonzalez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing in the club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Two things pitchers really love called strike threes and jamming hitters how about that talk about that jam right there that's about as good as it gets count remains at 0 and 2 trying to send him packing for the second time and that is swung on and missed he's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four big curveball for the strikeout there and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball only the best can keep their hands back on those in now Christian Optimus as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hits are even right now at five aside. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They're down five to one. Here's George Springer. Picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first Leading appearance. Leading up the fourth inning, center fielder, George Springer. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's a strike. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. And he chased it in the dirt. Barnhart goes to get it. And he makes the throw to first. Springer is retired, and there's one away. Standing in, Kyle Tucker. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. And in that last at-bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. Five one our score as we play the fourth here. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Sent on the ground out to second. Gonzalez 
Loves it. Throw gets him. Two down. Up next for the Astros. First baseman, Renato Nunez. Digging in, Renato Nunez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a changeup right down the middle. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0-1, but he's finding the heart of the plate way too often. Reyes is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Astros go down 1-2-3. They lead this one, though, 5-1. So striding forward now, Luis Arias. He reached on a single in his first try. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Brantley going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat. Blink. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer is in his tracks now, and there's the second out of the inning. How about it? The center fielder, Darling Martin. Here's Starling Marte. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he chased up and out of the zone. A swing and a miss. Hey, I never want to take an offense's aggression away. But they've been swinging at a lot of pitches early in the count. Find themselves down. I think they need to regroup, have a meeting in the dugout, and figure out a way to maybe look at some pitches. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Miami down in order. They're down here 5-1. Now batting, Cam Gallagher, Leading as we move the past Astros. the halfway point in this Gallagher. one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Gallagher. First offering on its way. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Marte is under it, one down. The second baseman, number 27, Jose Altuve. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, a hit in two tries so far. Line towards center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's worked. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. Left side, but well foul. A hit and two tries for him so far. He's running. Bouncer to the left side. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. That was a well-executed pitch right there. Change up, down and away, but he just got beat with it. Nice job to flip it the other way into the outfield for an opposite field base hit. Here's Carlos Correa now. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball in for a strike. Up. 
five runs seven hits no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball that hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it fouling it away the 0 2 home and that one stayed up a little high with the infield back in a runner at third he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop up you could see it from that high fastball but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch and this is hit hard to the right side Power ready to deliver the one and two and he fouls this one off the one two Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. And that'll play run number six. It's now a six to one ball game. And he'll reach second now with one away. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike good job there to jump ahead with the fastball if he's going to get back on track out there the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost then he can work his other pitches off of that the 0 2 delivery inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two he's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one but the funny thing is, he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Here he comes again, 1-2. Line to the right side. That's in there, base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Here's Michael Brantley as he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. There's a slogan is throwing too many strikes. That might be the case for this guy in this outing right here. So far not pitching all that well but 90 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes. Still only one out in the inning. A bouncer up the middle and a glove flip for one. Relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Astros seven and the Marlins one. Ready for another shot now. Chris Taylor is tasked with starting the Marlins sixth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground to short. To his right, Correa. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Digging in once again, Franz Reyes. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. The 
knee buckler and he swings and misses at it. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Still a ball and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second out. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. In now, Garrett Cooper. Here comes the first pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He most certainly does. Ten straight. He's retired now as that ends the inning. One, two, three go the Marlins. They're down seven to one. Trevor Rogers gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So stepping in, George Springer will do battle with a new arm out there in their half of the sixth. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Two strike pitch is chopped foul at the plate and will do it again. The 0-2 once more. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Standing in now, Kyle Tucker. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. A ball and a strike. strike and he's behind one and two good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it fouled away one half nobody on let's go wait for the pitch Sliced hard on the ground. Arias comes up with it. On to first, and there are two down. Now batting, first baseman, Renato Nunez. Into the box, Renato Nunez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. One and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high pass. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. He doubled up on that one, Danny. Back-to-back change-ups. Nice job by the batter right there, staying on that pitch. So that's one of the things that this pitcher will do, though, Mark. His changeup is so good, he's not afraid to throw it back-to-back -back pitches. 
Stepping in now, Cam Gallagher, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Nunez is off of first with two away. Two strike deliveries in the dirt. One and two now. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Popped him up. Gonzalez is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Houston. They're on top seven to one. Back here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Stepping into the box, Chris Davis. He's one for two in this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Zero. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer is camped under this one, and he puts it away for the first out. The batter number 13, second baseman, Julian Gonzalez. Into the box now, Julian Gonzalez. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Now here it comes. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This one's down to third. Bregman gloves it. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter number ten. Designated hitter, Christian Offerman. Digging in the switch hitter, Christian Offerman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Popped into the air, back behind second. And Altuve will put the squeeze on this one, and that ends the inning. Miami down in order. They're down 7-1. to one. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jose Altuve. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, d -Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. So far, two for three in this one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. 
but this will wind up foul still 0-2 the next 0-2 swung on and missed he got him on strikes got him with a good high fastball there Danny we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days what makes it so effective I think Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball first pitch of the at bat on its way just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball Altuve the runner at first with one gun in the inning in the dirt here and he is in there they couldn't get him at second and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch and I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first he lost focused on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud the irony of course is the runners now on second and he didn't even have to steal the 2 and 0 pitch hey. takes a good curveball at the knees that's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Now the 2 1 takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Here now the 2-2. Hit on the ground to third. Backhanded in time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman, number two, Alex. So coming to the plate, Alex Bregman. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Change up in for a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. The 0-2 delivery. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. And it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. And strike three called as he says, You gotta be kidding me with the side retired. Astros leave one. They're on top seven to one. So digging in now, Luis Arias. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. One pitch, one swing of the bat, and they've got a man in scoring position just like that. On the mound, he's probably happy it stayed in the yard. He jumped all over the first thing he saw and almost got to round the bases. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Strike him out! Bounce to first. Nunez moving to his right and it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. There's a look at the inning by inning recap. Seven to one our score as we play the eighth inning of this one. Digging in Starling Marte. He's working on a one for three thus far.
First pitch of the at bat. Now a check swing on the pitch inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. In the air now out to left field. Brantley is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And even with two away now, that ball just didn't get out there deep enough, so they'll hold him at third base. At the plate, Chris Taylor. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the belt, the pitch. Big curveball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Obviously, not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Arias at third with two away. Chases one up the ladder as this is hit in the air to left field. Brenton is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Marlins leave one. They're down seven to one. Now in the box, Michael Brantley. He was a double play victim last time around. Michael Brantley. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Hey. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 oh and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped him up. Here comes Davis. He can't get to it. That's a leadoff single. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fight. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The knocks and knocks. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. No hits to this point. Astro center fielder ahead with a 2 0 count. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Nobody out, runner on first. Astros, let's go! Down Ball low, three. and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Next up for the Strohs, Kyle Tucker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. First and second here with nobody out. High pop up. Barnhart waits on it. One down. Up next for the Astros, first baseman, Renato Nunez. Digging in and looking for more, Renato Nunez. Last time through was a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. My fastball is in there. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. 
This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Marte is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now batting. Patrick. Cam Gallagher. Digging in. Cam Gallagher. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this one's hit on the ground but foul. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And the run is in to score from second. It's an 8 to 1 ball game. I guarantee you, as a release point, he wants to pull this pitch back. Change up, middle of the plate, usually gets deposited in the seats. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The 1 0 home is a fastball that misses. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Now the 2-1. There's a breaking ball that misses off the plate. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like 3-1. and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Full count, 3-2. and two. Springer on second. Gallagher on at first to a two down. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. On to the ninth now in game three. Houston leads this one eight to one. Set to start the ninth now from Space City, Houston, Texas, as we continue our MLB Network presentation. Will Harris comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now to the plate, Franz Reyes starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's set. Here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Back goes Springer. It's up and out of here into the archways. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer so far in the series. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Oh, man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. In now, Garrett Cooper as he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat at strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. swing apparently ball one now the Astros are going to get a left hander up and cranking out in the bullpen a 
one one line toward the gap in left center and that will make him one for four in this one. The left fielder number four. Brandon David. So striding in Chris Davis. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First offering on its way. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order which they need seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. The 1 0. Pulls this one in the air out to left. After it is Brantley. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter, number 13. Second baseman, Julian Gonzalez. Striding in once again, Julian Gonzalez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat, very weakly on the ground. Swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Altuve for one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around. It took that great start to another notch in the win column. Big stage here at the World Series. You want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. to two tonight's final the Houston Astros have taken a two games to one lead in this World Series Francis Marte gets the W on the mound Mike Sosa allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian thanks for watching MLB Network Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Eight runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Marlins, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Minute Maid Park. 40,950. The Astros thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.